Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday of Holy Week, the 5th of April, 2023, to Peace Through the Word, Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, and Cochise County, in the United States of America, in LCMS, Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod Congregation. And I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation, and welcoming you worldwide, no matter where you're chiming in from, to this daily devotional piece of ministry. Trusting that you're having a very blessed uh, Holy Week, a, a very meaningful Holy Week. I pray that you're not just pushing this off and uh, you know letting the world dictate uh, like it always does. And I uh, pray that uh, Holy Week is, is very meaningful for you uh, this year and throughout your earthly life. I pray that will be a blessing for you. Uh, my brothers and sisters, this morning we're going to be looking at the subject uh, during uh, Holy Week, Strike the Rock. <clears throat> and um, that has a lot of ramifications for us this morning. And I pray that uh, we will see that and that by the power of the Holy Spirit it will transform us and then give us genuine real peace as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So allow me to please pray for this Wednesday of Holy Week. Merciful and everlasting God, you did not spare your only Son, but delivered him up for us all to <clears throat> bear our sins on the cross. Grant that our hearts may be so fixed with steadfast faith in him that we fear not the power of sin, death, and the devil through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So I'm going to share with you responsive prayer too this morning. I pray that will be a source of blessing for you as well. So, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths, so declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> so the passage of Scripture that our devotional is going to unpack for us this morning is that of St. John, chapter 19, beginning in verse 28. "'Tis, Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water shall come out of it, and the people will drink." This was an instruction that God gave to Moses in Exodus chapter 17, verse 6. So let's see how that applies to us this morning. Although Israel often grumbled against Moses and God, God never left them empty-handed. And he doesn't with us either. God either graciously sweetened existing bitter water in Exodus 15, 25, or brought water out of a lifeless rock. This is why Jesus said, Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink? Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all, but seek first the kingdom of God. And that's the instruction for us this Wednesday of Holy Week. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. But yet, we here in the United States seek our individual pleasures first. That takes priority over church attendance and everything else. And it does. And even amongst so-called Christians, that ought never to be, brothers and sisters, ought never to be. Okay? Um, but seek first the kingdom of God. Grumbling results from our faithless human nature. Even when Moses displayed striking the rock twice in frustration with Israel, thus making him forfeit entering the promised land, he wasn't supposed to strike the rock at that. He was at that time. He was simply to speak it, speak God's word before the rock. He struck it, disobeyed the instructions of God. As a result, Moses was forbidden to go into the promised land. Unlike Moses, who struck a rock with a staff to bring forth water, your eternal rock, Jesus, allowed his body to be stricken with a spear by a Roman soldier. From Jesus' side, water and blood still flow for us. Baptismal water cleanses, it does. And yet we've got Christian denominations that don't believe that. They don't believe that baptism forgives you of your sins and allows you to be born again. 
So they don't believe in the sacramental ministry when Scripture teaches that throughout Scripture from Genesis 1 to the last page of the book of the Revelation. That's not good either. Okay? So baptismal water cleanses, and living water quenches thirsty souls. His holy blood also washes away all sins for those who come to his holy supper. They don't believe that holy communion forgives sins either. Never to be, brothers and sisters. So if anyone drinks of Jesus, trusting in him, he will never thirst. Out of his heart will flow living water. That is transformational. And God, like I've said so many times before, God only deals with humanity in two ways. His word and his sacraments, both connected together, congruent, not separated. It's not word or sacrament. It's word and sacrament. And that's the only way that God deals with humanity. So if you want uh, this flowing of living, living water in a vibrant relationship with Jesus, you need those two, word and sacrament ministry. Pray that you won't deny yourself that because it's vitally important. So allow me to pray. So Heavenly Father, please crucify our grumbling flesh so that as your baptized child, we may always thirst for Jesus, the living water for eternal life in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that will bless you transformationally this morning and throughout the rest of your life. So this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. And taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer. And so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, this morning, as we always do, we want to profess the Christian faith, and we use the words of the Apostles' Creed. So together we profess, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So hear our prayer, O Lord, let our cries come to you. In the day of our troubles we call upon you, for you answer us. Hide your face from our sins and blot out all our iniquities. <clears throat> Create in us a clean heart, O God, <clears throat> and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Restore to us the joy of your salvation and uphold us with a willing spirit because your steadfast love is better than life. Our lips will praise you for you have been our help and in the shadow of your wings we will sing for joy. Teach us your way, O Lord, that we may walk in your truths and unite our hearts to fear your name. We give thanks to you, O Lord our God, with our whole heart and we will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, and may those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to our prayer and listen to our pleas for grace. We continue to pray. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things. Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for chiming in this morning to Peace Through the Word. I pray it has blessed you this morning. And uh, beautiful day here in southern Arizona this weekend. It's supposed to get up into the 90s, so we're looking forward to that. And a good day to enjoy the blessings of our Lord on this holy week. Pray that you would continue to do that. And so the flaps and wheels have been retracted, and I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies.